Hello, hello everybody. I am so excited. So I'm gonna give everybody a few seconds to get on while I use my Skin Vigorate brush with the Sonic Head and the massager because I love this. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, we are going to be, we're live. I Hopefully you can see me. I am gonna drink my coffee and shake up my face a little bit. So what I'm using, if you're wondering, is uh, it is a skin site, it's a skin vigorate brush. And yes, we have a cleanser head for it, but I love this thing in the morning because it just like revives my face. It does have a timer on it. It has three speeds. Uh, and if you have allergies like me, this is like the best thing ever because it just, oh, it's like a face massage. So that's what I'm doing. I don't do this necessarily every single morning, but I do do it. All right, so everybody's on, you're getting on. So customers and potential customers, don't forget that you are going to get entries later for commenting, for having your follow-up phone call with your consultant. Yes, a phone call, it's not scary, I promise. So that she can get your opinion on the products and on what you liked and everything else and so that you can get your gift card from her and uh, Mary Kay Consultants, if you are watching and have any questions, you can always PM me later about anything. So again, if you're just joining us, I am using the Skin Vigorate brush with the massage head while I wait for everybody because it is like my jam. I love this thing. It has these little trigger point, little doodahs on it. It has a timer, so it's going to shut off. And then I get it right into those sinus trigger points where my eyeballs hurt from um, allergies. So I didn't get very much sleep last night. I don't know why. I just could not sleep. So you're going to see really drab to fab for real, for real. Now, don't forget your neck. Your neck is the place on your face that is very hard to fix after it is turkeyed. So always remember your neck. As I always say, skincare goes from the nipples up. So I've already done my skincare. You guys have already done it. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put my makeup on for you and you can ask any questions that you want. Um, and you're going to get entries if you're a customer. If you are a customer, please shout out to your consultant because she gets entries to win. So make sure you name her for being part of it. All right. So the first thing I'm going to put on my face because I've got my skincare on is my foundation primer. This is a really smooth silicone based primer. I'm going to put it right underneath my eyes. I'm not going to put it on my eyes. I'm actually going to put an eye primer on my eyes as well. But this is a great little protective barrier. Like if you um, don't love foundation, that's fair. I get that. I don't really understand it because I totally love foundation. But if you don't love foundation, you can wear this on its own. You can see how much it brightened my skin up already. And then um, it's just going to give you anything else okay that you want all right i see brianne is shouting out to andrea that's awesome and crystal d is crystal's person that's great fantastic so this is our eye primer oh i didn't show you the bottle because i suck oh, sorry so i'm just smoothing this on with my fingers goes on a little bit white and dries to clear i do like to put this on my brows because brows, I just like a little bit of extra. And I have a little bit of redness around my nose, so I take whatever's left of my eye primer and I just kind of tap it around on there. So that's just the foundation primer and the eye primer. I'm a big believer in primers. I'm gonna do my eyeshadow first. And I'm just doing a really simple look today. You guys, it's Saturday, like I'm not doing much. I mean, we don't go anywhere anyway. So I am actually going to take my daughter for some back to school shopping because one of my favorite stores is having a sale. So I'm going to do that. I'm using our brush collection. Sorry, I was just taking them out of there. I forget that you guys can't see everything on my table. Sorry. Um, oh, I see Sandra's got a consultant shout out and Crystal again. And Brooke is a brand new consultant in Ontario. So awesome. Okay. So. The cool thing about our brush collection, you guys, I don't know if you're like about makeup for dummies. I was and definitely still am lots of times, but our brush collection has everything labeled. So it's like eye crease. So, you know, when you're watching those YouTube videos and it's like you pick up your number seven brush and your your 12 horsehair something and your pencil tip. I don't know any of those. 
I legit follow this. Now my desk is a little slanty, so everything seems to be falling off. This is my very first one of doing this, so I'm sorry if I mess it up. All right, so I'm gonna use my Little Perfect palette. Okay, it's dusty because this is my palette. This is my actual makeup, and sometimes it's not gonna be pretty, and life isn't always pretty. So I'm actually gonna use a color called Biscotti. This is this super white, it's almost like a whitish yellow um, matte color. And I am going to use a very tiny mirror so that I can actually see up close, but that I'm not blocking you guys. So hopefully you can see. So this white color, I'm actually going to use as a wash all over. And then I'm going to let you pick. But this is a non-negotiable for me, so too bad. You don't get to pick this one. I love you, but you don't get to pick. So be ready to pick my next shade. Okay. So I'm just dusting this all over and I'm using the all over eyeshadow brush. It actually says all over eyeshadow, which I enjoy immensely. Don't forget in here. Okay, see how much brighter my face looks? Oh, you guys are gonna see all of it. Like, look, I have some sort of infection from my uh, glasses for some reason. The nose pad of my glasses is giving me a rash just on that one side, I don't know why. And I've cleaned them incessantly, but I will go get them changed. So that's it, so that's Biscotti, all right. So now I have my whole huge compact pro and I have my pro palette. Um, I usually like to do a matte color um, on my crease. So yeah, the white is so the other colors stand out more. It also just helps everything blend a little bit. And then I don't have to go back over with the white, if that makes any sense, like to highlight on my brows or anything else. Um, so these are all mattes on this side. Obviously these aren't mattes. So which one of the mattes should I do? So we're gonna go one, two, three, Four, five, six, pick. Whoever says first is getting their answer. Don't pick four because that's the one I just did. All right, so what color am I putting on my crease? What do you think? One, two, three, four, five, not four, number one. Okay, so number one is actually, it's a discontinued color, but I know a lot of our consultants have it. It's one of my favorites, it's called pomegranate. And I'm gonna put this same thing, I'm just gonna kind of lay this on with the all over eyeshadow brush and push this in. And then I will go back in with my crease brush to really define. So if you don't have this color, a blush color works really, really well to do that as well. And I know a lot of you are saying number three, so I will go back in with number three as well, just to kind of accentuate that. Whoops, wrong brush. Crease brush. So with the crease brush, so again, that color was pomegranate, and I'm just gonna blend that. I just have to make sure I'm looking in the mirror so it doesn't look insane. Okay, and um, my consultants, I have like six of these, so if we need to figure it out, totally fine. I didn't realize I actually kept it in there because it's one of my go-tos. Now I've got a little bit more on this side, so what do I do? I go back in with this one and just kind of even it up. It's better than taking it away. And I'm um, gonna make sure to angle it downwards just a little bit. I've got it kind of up here a little bit. I don't want that. Okay, and then, uh, what did we do here? How did we do that? Did I go one, two, three, right? Then four, five, six. So number six is one of my go-to colors all the time. This is hazelnut, and this is because I have deep set eyes. So if you notice, my eyes, this part's quite puffy. So I go across, straight across with hazelnut no matter what. So I'm just going to do that. Just to create sort of some depth right there. Now this looks a little bit dark, but don't forget, I'm going to blend this all out. And when you're using your brush, remember, the closer you get to the end of your brush, the more product is going to go on. And the denser the brush is, the more product's gonna go on. So don't choke up on the bat unless you really want it to be too much, you know? Uh, yeah, Natalie, I totally have the same problem, going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. My advice is, is instead of trying to wipe it all away if you mess it up, is just go back in with a really light color and kind of even it out. So right where I've got that pomegranate kind of over too far, I'm just taking that biscotti right over top and look, just kind of acts like an eraser. Okay, uh, you can use a cheat color if you don't have pomegranate. And now I wanna shimmer on my eyelid. So I'm gonna pick one of these foil colors. These are our new foil colors. What color do you think I should do? So we've got green and gold and we've got pink and purple. 
So what color should I do on my lid so that I can bring that forward? And while you're voting, I'm going to blend. Because that's, just keep blending. What do you do? You blend, blend. So just a tiny dash of the shimmer. Okay, we've got pink, we've got green, we got, oh, which one was number two? I don't know which one. So how did I hold it? <laughs> so vote green, gold, purple, or pink, because otherwise I won't remember. Okay, I got lots of votes. So I think pink is winning so far. All right, two more votes and then I will pick. What do you think? I see pink, 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 gold. Okay, who's watching? What color? Andrea, which one do you think is winning? These are so awesome, by the way. These foil eyeshadows, they're so great. They're so, yes, they're very dense. They're great for some, for like fall, but they're an awesome summer thing. Okay, pink one. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do, guys. This is real hard. I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna push it. Push it real good. Just on the lid. So remember, wherever you can feel eyeball is lid. So anytime you're reading something and it says, put it on the lid, if you can feel your eyeball underneath, it is lid. Okay, just see that? Just a light shimmer, super pretty. It's okay, Andrea, we got it. I already put pink on, so you guys can stop voting because it's too late. <laughs> now, an eyeliner for me is a non-negotiable. My eyes are like pee holes in the snow, as you can tell. So I'm gonna use our twist up eyeliner. It does have a little sharpener in the lid, so you guys remember those Crayola boxes? Back to school shopping is big. Um, I like to sharpen it just a little bit. Now, this is not one I'm going to use precisely. And so if you're one who messes up your eyeliner all the time, you're going to be loving me after this. So watch. I'm just going to smash it. Just smash it on. Okay? On both sides. And I'm going to take my smudger brush right here. And it says eye smudger. And I'm going to smash it out. Smushy smush. Smush smush smush. So it doesn't have to be precise at all. And then whatever's left on my brush, I'm going to pull underneath. See? Smashy smash. This is waterproof once it is dry, but it moves really nicely when it is still malleable, which I love because I hate a scritchy eyeliner. It drives me bonkers. It's almost like a cold style. Yeah, but it's a twist up and it's quite soft. You're fine, Andrea. Don't worry. Thank you for helping. Okay, so it's quite soft when it is malleable, but once it's on, it's on. Like it stays on, swimming, everything. It's fabulous. Okay, so that is the black twist up eyeliner. We have this in gray and we have it in steely as well. I'm going to wait and put my mascara on just for final impact. And then I'm going to put on, now lots of you might go straight to concealer. I'm not going to, I'm gonna go straight to my foundation first because I want to make sure that any discoloration or anything else is taken care of. Sorry, I keep shaking my desk, which is shaking the camera. I haven't had too much coffee yet. I'm not shaking that badly. So I'm gonna put some foundation on. Now, I want you to know, first of all, this is beige N190 for me. It is, it's gonna go on a little darker and a little yellower, so you might panic as I'm putting it on, like what is she doing, okay? But it's kind of like when you paint the ceiling, and you use that kind of paint that shows you where it is first so that you can really blend, which I enjoy. I'm gonna use my blending sponge just cause I want a really nice light coverage. So this again is gonna go on really yellow when I first put it on and you're gonna be like, uh, she's on the crack, but I'm not, I promise. Kira, I know, I never did either. I always hated them because they wouldn't stay. They would like twist up and they'd be all pretty, but then they wouldn't stay on. This one stays on really, really well. And don't forget, anybody who's new and watching, we have a completely easy return policy. So you can return anything you don't like. I don't care. I don't care if you run it over with a truck or you just don't like it because you thought you would wear black eyeshadow and you never did or whatever. It is easy, Brooke, I promise. This is my five minute face, legit. Like this is not gonna take me a lot of time. It's taking me time because I am talking. Because, you know. Some people, Shirley, will put concealer on first. Like in lots of those YouTube videos and the Instagrammers, they're like painting on those lines. Like I think foundation's gonna cover quite a lot of sins. And then if you do need a little extra, you can cover it up there. Okay, so I am just 
beating this in. Now, remember, with our blending sponge, just like any others, and I love this one. You guys have tried every one on the market. I've tried Real Techniques. I've tried the Sephora one. I've tried them all. Um, I love that this is a little denser, but you have to wet it and squish it under the water. So it has to be squishy. If it's hard, it's not going to work for you. Yes, you can take that any way you want. So now I'm going to put a little bit of concealer on. So I'm actually going to start with a little bit of light ivory concealer. I'm going to put one dot here and one dot here just to brighten. And I have some sun damage. So this is not a mustache. This is how many of you feel like this happens to you every summer? It's like I have no hair there. I'm obsessed with hair. So I know there's nothing there because I am a tweezer friend. But I get that weird like discoloration from pregnancy like a million years ago. So I like to put a tiny little bit of a lighter foundation or a lighter concealer on. And I'm using our liquid foundation brush. I could use my blending sponge, but I chucked it and now I don't know where I put it. Oh, you mean how come foundation's not the first thing to put on your face? It can be, but I like to put my mascara or my foundation on after I do my eyes because then if I mess it up, I'm not having to redo everything and any fallout that happens or anything else. So I love to work from the top down. Okay? So with this, I'm just going to tap this in with my brush just here. And I am going to use under eye corrector. So those of you who are consultants, don't panic. I am using that as well but I need a little more help under here and I like a little bit of a brighter under eye okay so now I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to push that in and I'm not going to go don't go too close to your eye crinkles like where you naturally crinkle when you smile don't go too close to that because you don't want any product there it's just going to catch so for me I don't have any crinkles here but you have to adjust for your own face I don't know how your face is Everybody's face is different. So you see how much that brightened up? Now I'm gonna use Sleep in a Stick. This is our under eye corrector. Most of my clients have two of these. For school drop off, you need two. You need one in your bag. And I like this here too because it's just a little bit, I like to put it down the center of my face. Just tiny little bits, like not a lot, okay? I'm putting a little bit more on for the camera because otherwise you can't see it. Okay, this is under eye corrector. It's got a peachy undertone and a bit of a reflective surface. Kira, there's lots of times, like I do put my foundation on first and just go with no eyeshadow on too or just mascara. In that case, I wouldn't worry about it. Like the order isn't as important, but if you've never tried putting your eyeshadow on first, maybe try it. See what you think. I did find my sponge. I chucked it in front of me, so it was there. So I'm just kind of pushing that in and bouncing it around. You guys, this is the big area of your face that can wake your whole face up. So if you're feeling really tired, this can be your number one thing. Is just a little bit of under eye corrector or concealer right there in that little notch around your nose. This area gets red as you get tired. So if you are a like, very simple makeup person and you don't want any foundation, then you need under eye corrector at least and some primer. Love my sleep in a stick. It's my favorite. La la! Bright and easy. Okay, so now I'm going to do my brows for you. Um, I'm going to use Brunette Brow Liner. And all I'm doing is feathering uh, can you guys see that? Hopefully, yes. Okay. And a feather underneath. Now, remember, don't choke up on the back. We don't want this to go on like a Sharpie. You are not in the 20s, and you are not 90 years old. Or maybe if you are, you shouldn't be doing this anyway. So all I'm doing is very light strokes. Very, 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 just to really fill that in. I want them to still look like brows. I don't want them to look drawn on. And they, they're not the Instagram brows from 2016, you guys. Those are out. Natural brows are in. So if you learn to do the block brows, forget that now because you don't need it. So see how much of a difference that makes, all right? Like just like that. Crazy. Camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two. Crazy. So I'll do the brow tint at the same time. So I'm going to use brunette again here. So this is like a little mascara. 
I like to go against the hair just so that I don't get any on my skin as I'm going. Push it all up. Let it dry and then brush it all out. So it's going to look insane for two seconds here. And while I'm doing that, I will go in and do the other brow. Really, really quick. Like, notice if you go like this and you push, you're going to have a real bad time. And it's going to look insane. And like, I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to look like those girls. And I, you know, I'm 44. I have too many little bumps and lumps and wrinkles and crinkles to put 12 pounds of makeup on my face without it looking like some sort of weird mask. And we're already wearing masks. So like, we don't need that. Okay. It's just a little bit. Remember, they're sisters, not twins. So you don't have to worry too much about them matching up. I do recommend that you go get them professionally shaped at least once and then you don't have to worry about it. And all you have to do is deal with the, the errant hairs. Okay? You're fine, Jess. Don't worry. If you jumped on late, it's totally fine. This will be available to watch again and you can still comment for prizes if you um, haven't, if you weren't able to get on right from the beginning. That's totally fine. Don't forget to have a phone call consultation with your consultant because that's our job, right? Like our job as beauty advisors is to be beauty advisors. Our job is to customize it for you. You know, I mean, I have customers that don't want certain things or that think they do. They think they do. And then you're like, you hate that though. And that's true. And so then I have to be the person to say that to them. So this was brow tint. Okay. This is our brow tint. And now that it's dried on the one side, I'm just going to take our eyebrow brush and just brush it out. If you find that you're getting like weird, um, hang on, I was trying to do this foundation in the light here like this. And this light is making me, it's like a warmer light on me. So it looks a little yellower than it is in real life. I'm looking in the mirror and it looks totally fine. And then on this, I'm like what is happening? But it is not yellow. Foundation matching is also our main thing, something we do all the time. And it is something that we do return lots for people because they choose wrong or we choose wrong or you're like doing a party in the basement and there's no light whatsoever and you don't know how, like what foundation you're going to choose. And then they look like an Oompa Loompa or Donald Trump. Like we'll fix that. Like you do not have to wait for your foundation to look good in the winter or the summer. Okay. We can fix that. You know, your beauty consultant does not lose any money when she has to return something. It's totally fine. Mary Kay doesn't even want the product back. Oh, see, I goobered on myself. I'm going to show you a trick when you goober because you're going to. So I am actually using the Lash Love Waterproof Mascara. We do have five mascaras, but I might do some water stuff later today. So I'm using Waterproof Mascara. I love this one because it's a silicone wand. So it has teeny tiny little bristles. Can you see that? There's a hair stuck in my lovely dog hair. The dogs. I have two dogs and two cats. Hair everywhere in my house. Um, but this one's got tiny little bristles, so it's really going to pick up tiny little lashes. And my lashes are quite tiny. In fact, I do have an unfortunate addiction to glue on false lashes in the, in the evenings because I love them. I don't love lash extensions. Do not PM me to get me lash extensions. I don't want them. They make my eyeballs swell up. So I'd rather glue them on. And then I can customize my look. Some days I like it to be natural. Some days I like more. So this is just my mascara. I'm going to make the codfish face while I do this. You can keep asking questions. Don't forget, if I didn't answer them live, I will type out the answers later too. Or your consultant can answer it for you as well. And again, if you are just joining, make sure I know who your consultant is because she gets prizes for her people being on these. So this is a, a drab to fab. We are going to do some dra some fab to drabs where I take off my makeup live and show you my skincare as well. Because again, everything that's happening to your face, lots of the problems can be solved with simple skincare issues, right? You watch some of these videos and these girls are covering up 10 pounds of zits. Well, you know what? That can be fixed with skincare, discoloration, skincare. Like I had too much sun 
this last weekend we were camping and so then I'm having some discoloration issues again. So I'm going back to my serum C and my tone correcting serum to fix that because that is something that I only deal with in the summer when I have too much going on. Okay. Sorry, I'm getting, I thought I had my notifications turned off, but I don't. So give me two seconds. Here we go. Okay. So that's my mascara on. I just have that one coat. I just didn't, I didn't dip in again or anything else. So I'm done there. I'm going to throw some cheek color on real quick. So I actually really love this one. This is Rosy Nude. It's like kind of a brownie pink. And I like to go right here with that, just along that cheekbone. Now everybody's cheeks are different. Remember, if your face has sagged at all, do not smile and do it. Because here's the thing, it'll be like this, it'll be awesome, until you're like this, and then your cheek color's down here. So I like to do it as though I'm not smiling. And this is a matte blush, so I don't want it to be too much, but I'm putting it on like that so you can see it, but don't put that much on, because that's crazy, okay? Anytime that you want to put a color on and you're thinking it's too much or whatever, don't start wiping your face. Use a clean brush. I'm going to use a clean powder brush. There's nothing on this just to blend that out again. So that is not shimmery at all. It's just matte. There's no contour. I'm not putting contour on today. It's a daytime look. I don't need any contour for today. And then I'm going to put on my absolute favorite blush ever um well i have two i have juicy peach and shy blush this is juicy peach and i'm showing this to you because in the catalog it looks insane it looks like bright orange it's not okay so i have this this is a shimmer so i'm going to put this up here on the tops of my cheekbones just to really gleam that right up see where the light's catching it now if you're not sure where to put shimmer my best advice to you is to get in the dark and you know when you used to do those like flashlight games as kids and hold it underneath your face, right? Instead, hold it above. And wherever the light hits you, that's where your cheek, like your shimmer should go. So if you are using highlighter or anything else, that's where you're going to put it. Now, we do have highlighter. We do have all those things. But this is a daytime look. So I'm just putting on something nice and light and shimmery. Okay? Just like that. Easy peasy. See? Glimmery and gorgeous. Now, masks are an issue, right? We're dealing with masks and then your lip color isn't staying on. Then you take off your mask and then you're like, where's my lip color? I'm actually going to do one of my favorite tricks here, if I can find the stupid thing, there it is, is lip liner. This is medium nude lip liner. It again has a sharpening cap, okay? When you are putting this on, you're gonna go, okay, try not to talk, Carol, while you're doing it. Go under your lips like this. And then smush. You are not doing the 90s look with the like brown liner all around, okay? Not so good, okay? And then, hey, yeah, if you want to be a unicorn, Natalie, go for it. I am not going to judge you. Just remember that shimmer picks, see, I shouldn't talk like put on lip liner. Shimmer picks up things it maybe shouldn't. So it's going to highlight only where you want to highlight. So make sure that you have it where you actually want it, not where you don't. Okay, because if you have bigger pores or anything like that and you put shimmer on there, then that's not good. When you're doing your upper lip, go upwards, not downwards, because gravity tends us to make a straight line and our new, our line, lips are not straight. They are kind of curved. So I'm going to go upwards. I'm going to try not to talk and smush. Okay, lip liner on. Before I put any lipstick on or anything else, I'm going to use my translucent powder. I'm going to tap a little bit into the lid. Translucent powder is clear. It is not cocaine. It can look like that. And I have an unfortunate story where I did meet an RCMP officer friend for coffee and opened this in the car without the lid being shut perfectly. And then the air conditioning was on. So it blew like it, the full thing went right into my face and I had it in my nose and in my eyeballs and that's when she knocked on the window. So don't do that, all right? So tap it off, always never blow on your brushes, you guys, I will know and I will pull your hair. I don't know, if you get a hair pull in the middle of the night, that's me, that's my ghost coming to you to say don't blow on your brushes. Your mouth is filled with bacteria, okay? You're more likely to die of a person bite than a snake bite. 
if that gives you any indication how gross your mouth is. So translucent powder is awesome because it's got like disco balls in it that reflect light. You don't need a lot. And it just helps to set your makeup without you looking chalky or overdone. So it kind of acts like a bit of a filter for your face. Can you see that? It doesn't mattify you completely. It just gives you that like illusion of just a bit more polish. This is also great on its own right over top of primer. I remember doing a bride once that didn't want any foundation on her face and all we used was primer and translucent powder and she looked flawless in her pictures. So super easy. I am gonna throw one more coat of mascara on because ah, cause I'm a junkie and cause I can. Uh, any questions for you guys, for your consultants or for me? Oh, and I gotta clean up that booger where I, not booger, but where I goobered with the mascara. Cause you're gonna do that no matter what you think. You are gonna sneeze one time or whatever. Mascara is designed, especially our mascara, is actually designed to stick only to hair, not to skin. So ours is designed to flake off when it's dry on the skin. So even though I don't even have a Q-tip, I can just take my finger here and it's gone. Easy. When your whole face is done, that's when you reevaluate and you look at it and you go, all right, do I need some more help here? Now, I have not slept very well and you can see a little bit more bluish there. So even though I have a little bit of translucent powder there, it doesn't matter. It's not going to cake up. So I'm just going to put one little dot and you can see where I've, I had some reaction to my nose pads on my glasses. So they're being, it's being a jerk. So in this time, I did blend the last one in with my brush, but on this one, I'm actually going to push that product in with my finger. So it is really warm before I go and mess with it. This is our under eye corrector. I'm just going to tap that in so it's really good right there. And see, that brightened everything back up. So evaluate that afterwards. You don't need to do everything perfectly right away. How do you remove it? Oh, with our eye makeup remover. Our actual, um, like our oil-free eye makeup remover just swipes it off. Like... No problem. No problem. Yeah. Oh, always wait for it to dry. Now, Mary Kay mascara is designed to remove itself when it's dry. But if not, then, you know, you can do it with, yeah, it, with other ones you can try. It's a little bit easier to remove ours when it's dry. Uh, under eye corrector is only in one shade. It's in an orangey peachy tone so that you don't need to worry about picking the shade. And I do like to go one shade lighter for my face just to brighten up right underneath my eyes. Okay, easy. Now, because I'm not wearing a mask right this second, I'm going to follow up with a lip gloss. Here we go, let's do a little votey vote, okay? Now, what should we pick here? I'm just gonna, yes, I bought them all. I bought every single lip gloss, because I can. And that is the perk of being me in my job. Okay, so one is the top. One, two, three, four. Yes, um, I use my fingers for certain things just because um, when you are trying to warm the product up or you're trying to get a little bit more on, then using your finger is better. With the foil eyeshadows, it's nice to push in with your finger because it's so shimmery that that's gonna keep the shimmer exactly where you want it without it going anywhere else. So one, two, three, or four. We got four, four, four. Oh, we got all the fours. All right, so this is Sparkleberry, right? Oh no, this is Berry Delight, I'm sorry. They changed, hang on. I just threw it across the room. Give me two seconds, sorry guys. Anyone can do this job. Okay, so this is Berry Delight. Our eye lip, lip glosses have two ends to them. They have this pokey end and a flat end. So the flat end is designed to get the product on. And then the tiny end is to use as a bit of a liner. What I love about this, you ready? Oh, it's still wet, but. I have the worst problem with sticky, sticky, sticky. I can't handle it, it drives me crazy. So once this sets, it's not gonna stick to my, my hair. I should have waited two seconds because, you know, I do that. But it's not sticky. 
It's not tacky and it fades really lovely. So it depends, Deb, like if you are using something that's a lighter color, it's not gonna show up as long. If you use something with a bit more saturated pigment, then it's going to fade so that the pigment is still there. You know, so it just depends. Like if I had chosen this like super nude one, this is, uh, oh gosh, I'm not wearing my bifocal, soft nude. So if I had chosen this, like, I mean, when it fades, it fades, right? It's gone. It, when we decide between lipstick or lip gloss, that's sort of what we're looking at, right? Is like, if you're looking for gloss on your face and you're looking for shimmer, if you're looking for um, a lipstick to last longer, you want to go to more something matte, right? So yeah, so see, it's not like, it doesn't do that thing, you know, like the 90s lip glasses or whatever, and it doesn't stick. Like I have a video of me in the boat and it doesn't like stick to my face. Oh, little hairs are going up, but you know. Okay, but I do love this one. It's just very soft and very light and we have it in a creamy formula, like with no shimmer. We have it with a little bit of shimmer like this one. This is Ballerina Pink or Pink Ballerina, I think it's called. Um, yes, pink ballerina. So this has a tiny little bit of sparkle in it. And then we have ones like this one that are super shiny. Okay. And yeah, I love to put a lip liner on just because when it does fade and if I filled in my lips with my lip liner, I still have lipstick on and it's not a big deal. Okay. And then if you do want something a little longer lasting, your beauty advisor can help you pick that. So this one was, uh, what did I use? Just use? Sorry. What the heck was that one called guys? Berry something, Berry Delight. I keep forgetting the names of things because, you know, anyone can do this job. Here it is, sorry. This one is Berry Delight. Okay, Berry Delight. So I love that the liner, like the lip part is bendy. Just really, you know, you can layer it. You can get more color on if you want. Lip liner is like my best friend. I honestly wear lip liner by itself all the time people are always like what colors on your lips lip liner what colors on your lips lip liner what colors on your lips lip liner that's it so this is my daily look like super easy super fast um it goes into my perfect palette so i'm just going to take out the colors you guys didn't pick and show you how easy it is to customize our palettes so all of our eyeshadows come with their own um little tray so you don't have to worry if you don't have the palette you can still have your eyeshadows okay um, and then same with our blushes. They all come by themselves, so it's super easy. So I have two colors of cheek, and I have the foil eyeshadows in here. I have the three colors of eyeshadow I put on, and my cheek colors all in my palette. This has a mirror in it, fingerprints all over it, and it fits in your purse or wherever you want to travel with. It's got this beautiful lacquered finish. It's quite easy and it's magnetic so then you can customize because I don't know about you but there's been so many times I've bought like a palette or whatever of colors and then you only use one out of them or three out of them and then you're left with the rest I mean Mary Kay has won lots of environmental awards because of um, our ability to customize the looks for you the same as how we don't send our products back to Mary Kay in Ontario if you have um, something that you didn't like because they don't want you shipping it all the way across there just so they can throw it out. They trust us. So then we can just pick a different color for you. Okay? I'm in reverse. What does in reverse mean? I don't know what that means, but okay. Hopefully that was helpful for all of you. Remember to keep commenting for entries. I'm not going to tally them up today because I'm going to go out for today. It's Saturday. Um, but I am going to uh, check out the entries, make sure you know who your consultant is and that you've shouted out to her so that she gets entries as well. You get entries for having your follow-up phone call with your consultant. Make sure you have a follow-up phone call with your beauty advisor. She's going to give you a gift card that you can use now or later, okay, so that you can decide to use it if you want it now. And if you decide you want to get stuff later, that's cool too. We're not going anywhere. We have been around for over 50 years. Mary Kay is current. It is up to date. It is so easy to use. And we are really makeup for dummies. It's just so light. It's so pretty. I have used, you guys, I've used every Sephora brand. I, every time something new comes out, I buy it all just to try it and to see if ours stands up to, back to it. And honestly, 
Ours does over and over and over again. I was a customer for six years before I signed up because I knew how awesome this product was. So I know that you will be really happy purchasing from us and I know you'll be really happy with your beauty advisor and what you get. And if you do decide you wanna do something like this, this is what I do for my team so that they can um, work with their people and get some experience and things like that going on. Um, I don't know if there will be a magnifying mirror, Yvonne. There used to be one that was available in the kit, but I have no idea if there will be one or not, but yeah, I know I'm of the myopic, the bifocal times. So la la. All right. Hopefully you guys have an awesome, awesome day. Keep commenting. This will stay up on the feed. So if you miss some of it, you can watch it again. And I hope this was helpful to you and that you have a really blessed Saturday. Bye guys.